you know, at the Society of St. Pius, I'm sorry, St. Pius X, so they were founded by Archbishop Lefebvre, and then um, well, many of them are very well-intentioned the people, and then um, some of them uh, even uh, are said to be conscious. They believe the chair is vacant. Um, so, um, but they're confused about the situation in the church. Um, like Father Grano said, um, with priests, uh, okay, we don't recommend people going to Pius and Society by death. We don't forbid them because it can 209 and 2261. But then, if it's uh, sometimes, like Father said, they have to be careful. Because it from the Pope, you got in the church, you got a picture of Francis, and then you say, you know, the Pope is a heretic and all this stuff. You know, it confuses children or other people. It might confuse people's faith that they. Uh, I remember I spoke to the priest in. Um, Actually, in Bishop Lefebvre, in seminary, they used to give us a conference when I was in seminary. And uh, he said, the, the, at that time he was uh, 22, and the Pope is a heretic. He, he said, Bishop Lefebvre said that. He heard him say that. Yeah, I was, you know. And then uh, I talked to the priest in the garden grove, and he said, uh, before Mass, we pray for the Pope that he converts and becomes a Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> so, so again, they're well-intentioned people, and some of them, some of them don't know. But there's also at the Society of Pius X, there's priests who were, um, they were Vatican II priests, and just like Father Fom, some of you met, met him, uh, Father Oswald, they were Vatican II priests, but they went through the seminary again, and they were ordained. They receive valid ordination. At least they're certainly valid priests now. Um, but in the society, there's even in this country, there's priests who were or Vatican II priests who were not uh, conditionally ordained, and then so they cannot bless your rosary. They can't say mass. They can't hear confessions. So, so before you know, people ask me, can I go to this priest or not? Not just the income issue, but is he a valid priest? If he's a valid priest, then those rules apply. It was the Society of St. Peter um, in 1940, I think it was 1947, Pope Pius XII uh, wrote a decree on the priesthood because um, there's, he's the final word and there were questions. What, what words are necessary to ordain a priest? What words are necessary to consecrate a bishop? What is the matter of the sacrament, etc.? So he wrote this decree, and then he said, um, there's about 12 words, might be 16, but, but it's a very short number of words. These words are necessary for validity, to consecrate a bishop. And in the new form, there's the only word, in, like in Latin, that's the same as and. It's completely rewritten, it's totally invalid. So what about the Society of St. Uh, Peter? Okay, it was started by Father Basic, he was a Society of Pius X priest, and then when Archbishop Lefebvre consecrated those four bishops, Williamson and the others, uh, he broke away and went back to the Rome. You know, it's not the, the true Rome, but to the John Paul II. And then they started this uh, new organization. So they learned traditional theology and the Mass, etc., but also mixed in with Vatican II. But then when they ordain priest, the only what they do is they have the local Vatican II and the bishop who does a traditional ceremony, but he uses a corrupted form, and those people are not priests at all. And then these people are going to Latin Mass. You know, every Sunday you think, oh, this is so beautiful. We're still part of the church, but we, and they, they, these priests, so called priests, can't bless the country, they can't sing Mass. And then there's other tradition. You know, there's, um, um, after Vatican II, there's the older priest who, a very small number, but just you know, continue saying the, the true mass. They were part of any organization, but most of those are, have passed away. And then uh, if you think about it, you have to be 24 to be ordained a priest. And then from 1968, that's when the new form came. Um, all these people are invalidly ordained. Uh, Pre-1968, priest is going to be pretty old, you know, probably retired by now. 